um, developer performance. I'm going to start um, the uh, application server uh, just using this uh, Java minus Jar command. I added the minus D32 to run with the 32-bit version of uh, the Java VM, which is a bit faster on the Mac OS. And here you can see that the, the, the server has started. It's already all started, and in this part on this particular machine, it took about because you can see 2.8 seconds to start the, uh, the application server. So it's pretty fast. Um, at this point, as I mentioned earlier, it just started the basic services. So now I can go and deploy a simple WAR file. And what was going to happen is that at the web container will then get started for the first time. So it's the lazy loading of the web container. And of course, the first deployment takes a little bit more time because, you know, you have to start the web container. But if once you've done that, you decide that you want to redeploy, and at that point, the web container is, of course, already running. And the second time around is much, much faster. And as you can see, I can redeploy in 0 0.2 seconds, which is really, really fast. So that's about it. That gives you a flavor of the, of the ideas of how you can have a very responsive application server when you're developing with Classfish.